have a lot of really severe neck pain, mm -hmm. a lot of shoulder pain. I had a couple shoulder injuries when I was younger. I used to play softball. Um, and a lot of lower back pain. I deadlift a lot. I squat a lot. So I okay. have a lot of pain in my lower back. Mm -hmm. It's actually affecting my legs. Okay. Yeah. What's worse, neck pain or lower back pain? Um, right now it would probably be my lower back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have pain going down the back of your legs yeah. or sides of both legs? Uh, back. Both legs? Yeah, both legs. Does it go down past your knee? Yeah, all the way to my feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when you have that pain, what does it feel like? Is it sharp, dull, achy, numbness, um, tingling? It's sharp, and then my feet actually start to tingle. It's weird. Okay, how long has that been happening? Good, maybe about a month now. Okay. Yeah. All right, has anyone else looked at this? No. Nope. Have you ever had that before? No. Nope. Uh, do you remember anything in the last month that has changed? Have you had any injuries? Have you been in the gym? Have you felt anything pop, twist, strain? Um, when I was deadlifting, I just felt like I strained my back a little bit, so I stopped. Okay. While. I haven't deadlifted in like two weeks. Okay. So, okay, very good. You're mm -hmm. listening to your body. I Stay am. in pain through range of motion. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the neck pain. How long have you had neck pain for? Mm, since I was in high school, like six, seven years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any major injuries there for your neck directly? Car Not accidents? my neck, no. Mm -mm. All right, and you mentioned some shoulder things, softball. Yep. Were you a catcher? I was a pitcher. Pitcher. Yep. Okay. I um, tore my bicep tendon, my rotator cuff, and my labrum in my right arm. So sure. that was years ago. That was about eight years ago that I did that. I mean, there's a certain range of motion I still can't do, mm -hmm. but um, I was getting shots, the cortisone shots for okay. a while, and that really helped. I felt invincible for like a week or two, and then mm -hmm. I would go right back to how I was. So. Okay. Do you ever get any pain down your arms? Um, A little bit, like in here. Uh, not very often, but... Have any headaches? A lot. Like oh, very... What's a lot? A couple a week? Probably at least like two or three a week. Yeah. Okay. I was, Morning or at night? Um, midday to uh, at night. I went to the doctor for it, and um, he actually prescribed me medication, and I had to stop taking it because it was affecting my heart. But um, he said that I have chronic migraine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So when you have a migraine, mm -hmm. what does it feel like on your? Where does it hurt your head? Um, my temples and right in like above my eyes. Okay. Is it all year round evenly? Or do you feel it more during certain times? Uh, more so during the summer because I'm allergic to like grass and mm. dust, mold. So. Okay. All right. So, and then when you get the migraine, mm -hmm. do you what do you usually do to make it better? Um, I mean, I've just been taking over the counter um, Excedrin, extra strength for migraine. And I mean, sometimes I'll lay like a really hot rag just over my face, like my head. Mm -hmm. That seems to help a little bit, but. Um, not using my phone, not watching TV, not sitting in a light room. Mm -hmm. um, basically, just going into a cave <laughs> and staying there. Okay, so you get light sensitive, sound yes, sensitive. Yes, very. Things, you know. My eyes are sensitive to begin with, even without having a headache. So it okay. gets like 10 times worse when I do. How long have you had sensitivity in your eyes? How long have you known With that? a headache? Without. How long have you known that you've had um, sensitive eyes? Probably since I was in high school, which again is like six, seven years ago. Did you have any tr major trauma in the past? Any major accidents besides the sports injuries? Do you remember any hit head injuries at all? Mm -hmm. uh, I got hit with a softball and I had a helmet on. Mm -hmm. but I got like whacked with it. Mm -hmm. That I don't. They said I didn't have a concussion. I mean, I remember my head hurting for a pretty long time, but other than that, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Do you remember when you were a child, did you have any other illnesses, any hospitalizations, anything else that you took medication for? Yeah, I was hospitalized like three times within two months because I had, they diagnosed me with mono and tonsillitis. Mm -hmm. um, they were giving me, I was on a pain medication that I could just like hit a button. Um, when I was hospitalized, it was a morphine drip. So I was on that for, a, I don't know, probably like a good week being hospitalized three times within two months. Um, it took the third time for them to finally do surgery on me, so I have no tonsils. Do you know the details of your birth? Do you know if you were born um, cesarean or natural? Uh, natural. Okay. Do mm -hmm. you know if you were breastfed as a child? Yep. Do so you have any ankle pain, foot pain, mm -mm. knees? Knees. Both of them? I had a knee injury too. Okay. Just my left knee. What kind of injury? Uh, just a, they said it was a severe contusion to my, yeah. 
All right, and uh, hips? My hips are always very sore. Okay. Like they're very tight. Mm -hmm. Elbows, wrists? Mm -hmm. Hands sometimes. Okay. Like my hands, I type a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, I crack my fingers a lot, which I probably shouldn't do. I'm, fine. I'm a millennial, so I text a lot. So my hands get <laughs> sore. I forgot to mention when I did go to the doctor for my shoulder injuries, um, he told me I have bursitis and tendonitis in both of my shoulders. Okay. So. Is there anything else that you forgot to tell me? <laughs> Probably. Um, I don't think so. No. All right. Let's start off with an exam. We'll look at your spine. Mm -hmm. I'll watch you walk. And then after that, we'll go through the adjustment. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what your spine says. <laughs> yeah. I remember actually when I was young, like really young, I had to go just to my family doctor. He did it, but I coughed so hard that I like mm -hmm. popped my vertebrae out of place. Much warmer here in the bottom lumbar L4, 5, S1 area. Hmm. Slightly more on the left in, this, in the lumbar spine. And a little bit more on the right here in the sacrum. That's crazy that you can determine that. <laughs> <laughs> I never even knew that was a thing. Okay, now I'm going to push a little bit deeper into mm -hmm. the muscles. Tender? Mm-hmm. Tender. Mm -hmm. Right or left? Mm -hmm. I can't even tell to be honest. If right or left? left. Okay, lean Ooh. back. Okay, ready? Does it hurt more here? Or here? The first one, down there. What about here? Yeah. All of it. <laughs> here? Here. The first. This helps me determine which way your pelvis has rotated. Okay. So first you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Then I'm gonna well, trace it. Sore. What's that? They're sore. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. And then I'm going to trace up to the glute folds. Okay. So it looks like we're slightly lower on the left. And then when we look from the top angle like this, mm -hmm. they're almost perfectly even. So possibly posterior inferior rotation on the left. So it's possibly come back like that. Mm -hmm. Or forward on the right. It looks like that on the angle of your pants too, except we can't be certain for that. Mm -hmm. Let's check for the scoliosis. So what you're going to do now is bend forward and touch your toes. Together. You don't have any rib humping. It's almost, it's perfect. You don't have any scoliosis. I might fall asleep.
Tender. Tender. Left or right? Right. Any pain here? Mm-hmm. Is it underneath my hand or is it somewhere else? Up. Oh. It's higher. Mm -hmm. Any pain here? Mm-hmm. Same place, mm -hmm. higher? Yeah. That's where it hurts really bad. Here? Yeah. Okay, what about here? Yep. What about here? No, not really. Which one more? One, two. One. Yep, so it goes mm -hmm. like this, go down. Oh, I've had this before, but I've had it when I'm on my back. Hmm, interesting. For my feet, I need a... Your left leg was a little bit shorter, but then when I put the blocks underneath of you, it balanced out. I can out. literally, really? Mm -hmm. I think it's longer right now. What? My left leg. You're right. It's because when I put the blocks underneath of it, it reversed it and put you in the opposite position. So you don't really have a leg that's longer than the other. You just have like a, you have a, a, hit, a, tw a twist in your hips. This one too? Oh my gosh, yeah. Which one more? Are you wrapping something on me? No. Oh, it's just your finger. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like? <laughs> I don't
questions okay? Okay, so let's start right here. Let's practice one first. It's been a while since you've been adjusted. So you're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. I'm going to follow your breath down like this. There's more. And at the end of your breath, we'll give a little push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's starting to move already. That means we're in the right place. I'll just crack you in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so do that again, in through your nose, not through your mouth. Good, sinking in, good. Okay, now moving down a little bit lower in the thoracic spine. Another deep breath in. Good. And out. Shoulders relaxed, sinking in. Okay, one more deep breath in, far as you can go. Good. And then as you breathe out, let your shoulders relax. Super deep. I felt it. Good. Now breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And just let your whole body sink in. Good. We're going to bring the shoulder up. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it feels good. Mm -hmm. All right. So, shoulders forward just a little bit better, just like that. Okay. Same thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gentle. We don't have to push hard. Just breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, we're gonna let your shoulder come up. There's more, hold on, there's more. Good, good, let it all sink in. Good, just like that. Good, lay on your back. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Center, left, center. Bring your right ear down to your right shoulder. Center, left ear to left shoulder. Good, center. And then push your head straight down into the table. Now relax. Nice, gentle breathing. Just pay attention to the sensations of how the breath is moving your body. The more tense you are, the worse it hurts. You know, you're exactly right. A chiropractic yeah, adjustment only up. hurts when you're not, when your muscles are contracted. Mm -hmm. 
Otherwise, it doesn't hurt. Even if I pushed in the wrong place, mm -hmm. it still doesn't hurt as long as you're not tense. Which is why I spend a great deal of time bringing people to the yeah. state of peace. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start on the right side, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring your head over to here, and then we're going to push in that direction, okay? Mm -hmm. Nice and gentle breathing. Good breath there. But we're just bringing it over to the side. We're going to be right here at the very top. C1, good. C2, C1, good. Another breath, gentle. Wow, <laughs> that was bad. Well, it was good, bad. Oh, that, that the other one's just as good. <laughs> okay, so let's do the left side. I'm gonna check first to see where it needs to be adjusted, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, bring it over to the side. Oh, that hurts Seven, already, six, wow. Five, four, three, two, it's all at the bottom. <laughs> I don't know, you're good. Just keep breathing. There's nothing to oh It's all good. Mm, it's just sore. Yep, that's okay. That's why you're here. You're doing good. Your head's perfectly relaxed right now. Just keep breathing, noticing your breath and how it's moving your body. Mm. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> Feels great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really good. It was just like, you're just super crackly. <laughs> Okay, so very gentle. I'm just going to lift your toe and then it'll crack, okay? Push, push, relax. Okay, now squeeze and hold. Squeeze, squeeze. All right, so we find the ileocecal valve. So we find this spot in between your belly button. You've got your high waist on here. Can you find oh, your belly, belly button? button yeah. Wait, where is it? Yeah. Right here. Okay. Excuse me. Got Ow, it. I have my belly button pierced. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and then the hip bone that okay. sticks out right here. Okay, take these two points, mm -hmm. connect them, and then start from the middle. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's inside or outside. Yours is right there, though. Tender. Yeah. Mm. It just feels weird. This is the ileocecal valve. This is the window between the small and the large intestine, mm -hmm. right above the appendix. That feels weird. It's supposed to hurt. It's often tender. Yeah. What was the last thing that you ate today? A protein bar. That's all I ate. What time? On the way here. <laughs> so, like twelve thirty. Mm -hmm. So we're prob we might not be past the 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 um the pyloric sphincter yet, which is here. Mm -hmm. More tender here. Mm hmm Yeah. So you push it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but did you feel that release though? No. You didn't, you didn't feel all those gurgles. Breathe. <laughs> Jeez. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Yeah, that hurts. That's not good. Okay, breathe into your belly. No, no, no. That's, that's using your ribs. Breathe. Expand your belly. There you go. Out. Do that again, then. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, really hurts. Okay, keep breathing. Ow. Was that supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> that, that was, yeah, that was the release. Oh. Okay. Oh. Is it still tender here? No. 
This one is now. Yeah. If I said people, you stop pushing on it. <laughs> mm. Oh, Jesus. Where? What? Oh. <laughs> Nowhere. And test your nose. I have a deviant septum. I know. Oh, you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of people don't notice that. Oh my god, I do not like it. Pain? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want my... What? You don't want your what? I don't know. I don't want my face readjusted. I'm sure it might make this bump go away. Yeah. That freaks me out. I'm not ready for that. Okay. <laughs> that freaks me out. Oh my god. That hurts. Look straight ahead. Good. Lean forward. Good. Let this go. Relax. One more time. If that hurts. Shoulder relax. Let the shoulder go. You're okay here? Let me see your tongue. My tongue? Mm hmm How much water do you drink? Well, I'm dry mouth right now, mm -hmm. but um, I drink a lot of water every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? What's wrong with my pulse? You need to drink more water. Really? Immediately. Have you ever been diagnosed with any heart conditions? Not yet. <laughs> Why not yet? Why do you say that? Well, it runs in my family. My dad had open heart surgery when he was 48. This is a little bit more of an aggressive adjustment. Oh. Are your head go down? Head down? Okay, so what we're going to do here, Bree, is I'm going to wrap this around your neck and support and stabilize your cervical spine. 
And then right from here, I'm going to use this to support as I pull in that direction, okay? Mm -hmm. Where do you feel that? Is that painful? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice and gentle. Keep your teeth together. Breathe in. Put in and out. <laughs> did you feel it all the way down? Did you feel it in your low back or just Yeah, I did. My neck and my lower back end. Yeah. Alright, walk around a bit. See, take it for a test drive. Take what for a test drive, my new. Your spine. It feels good. Good. How the hips feel? Low back. Yeah, feels good. Mm -hmm. Neck? Feel well oiled now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can go lift more later. You're doing good. Your head's perfectly relaxed right now. Just keep breathing, noticing your breath and how it's moving your body. Mm. Good. Another breath, gentle. <laughs> oh my God. Good, just like that. Good. Lay on your back. Up. I'm gonna have to go with Aries. No. No, it's a Sag. Sag. Mm. Shoulders relaxed, sinking in. <laughs> Good. Ow. I might fall asleep.